I came out here. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Honestly, I never thought this could make me feel so uh, alive. <laughs> now I know how Shadina feels. <laughs> uh, now I know how she feels when she gets drunk. This puts her at ease. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, man, I don't want to throw up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, a lot has been happening since Boom Sonic and I defeated Silver Dot EXE. I mean, a lot has happened. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad I came out here to. Uh, I mean, I mean, bad stuff has happened, like, for the past three months, but, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> you know, people always tell me, Multi, you're too depressed. Multi, you're too depressed. Sonic, why are you always depressed all the time? Oh, well, I'll tell you why, because my life has been utter crap. <laughs> Honestly, when I when I first put Guardian, I never thought that my life could be even more worse than it already was. Ugh. But you know what? At the same time, at least I'm back in isolation. <laughs> uh, and then the Council of Hoggers came along and then made my life worthwhile. And, and then, Silver.exe came on and made everything worse. <sighs> what is up here? What the uh, hell's going on? Oh, shoot. Shadow, <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen your face. <laughs> yeah, it has been. Uh, uh, last time I saw you, we uh, fought... Who was that? Uh, Infinite Sonic! Yeah, that was him! Infinite Sonic! Yeah... Yeah, tough battle. We lost, uh, some good people that day. Yeah, hey, but at least we brought him back with the Multiversal Dragon Balls! At least we did that! Yeah, those things always came in handy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why are you drinking? What, what? You never, you never seen vodka before? This is, this is, this is, uh, this is Belgium. This is vodka. And yeah, this. Why are you drinking? This is, uh, this is ale. It's ale. Hey, I need you to answer me. Why are you acting like this? What? What? what you look uh, terrible. What? You look like you haven't slept. You're drinking. You can barely stay still. You're stumbling around. Look, I think you've had a little bit too much. Look, hey, 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 look. I came here because I just want to drink, okay? Look, I know you've never seen me drink before. You know, this is a new development. But this is something people are going to have to get used to. This is me. I mean, I accept you for who you are. Mr. Kronkel Ultimate Life Form. <laughs> Even though that's past you. <laughs> you know, you know uh, I don't but... think that way anymore. Look, I know my place. I know where I'm at. But a guardian, a guardian of the multiverse shouldn't be drinking. A lot has happened the past month, okay? I know I haven't seen you for a long, long time, but... Just let me keep you up to speed, okay? So first there was, first, you know, I died, and then 
I was brought back and, and all that stuff happened with Infinite Sonic and then, you know, I became a guardian of the Voltaverse. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was there. I, I'm very well aware. Yeah, yeah. But what is making you do this to yourself? Listen, listen, I'm explaining more. Because you weren't there, like, for, for like, the past, uh, how long was it? I don't even care. Um, there was, there was, there was, ah, there was Silver.exe. There was that guy. Yeah, I, me and Boom Sonic, we stood up to the plate and we took fight to him. You know, we, like, and then... Now, before that, you know, I was accused by him of uh, kissing his girlfriend when that wasn't true at all. And, and then... Well, that sounds stupid. And then, you know, he beat, he beat my ass. And then, and then, um... Who yeah, saw Modern beat was your ass? Huh. That's surprising. <laughs> I, uh, okay, I'll admit this, I held back because, you know, I didn't want to break more of the bro code than it was then. So, you know, there was that. I held back a little bit. But, and then there was, uh, and Modern was there. He, uh, he helped resolve the issue. And, uh, Modern's a good guy. He's a really, really nice guy. He's chill, too. Um, and then there was, uh, yeah, so I recruited him Sonic. Modern went back to his dimension so he can keep everyone safe from Silver.exe. Boom Sonic and I teamed up. We defeated Silver.exe, all was well in the end, and that's when she went down. She? Who are you referring to? Uh, it, it, no one in particular. It, look, 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 look. It's none of your business, okay? I mean, you wouldn't understand even if I told you, you know? You wouldn't understand. No one would understand. Not Silver, not Modern, not Boom, not, not, uh, not, not even, <laughs> not even, uh, not even Amy because she's dating Orion, but, but, you know, she wouldn't understand. Orion wouldn't under, won't understand at all. He won't, because he's out there being Look, all ninja. you know me better than anyone. Look, I've went through a lot. And I do mean a lot. Look, we know each other. We're friends. I'd understand you better than anyone else. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tell Tell that to what happened with me. Now, anyway, now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go back over there to the bar. I'm here. I'm, I'm getting a little bit low on fuel, so I, I need to Look, restock. I think you've had enough. I need no. to restock. It's like I the military. You to... no. you know, I need to restock on ammunition. Hey, get that back! What's wrong with? Hey, Shadow, come on! You're poisoning yourself. I think you need to tell me what's going on. Please. I'm concerned for you. As a guardian of the multiverse, you have to watch over everyone. And by you sitting here, throwing your time out the window, you're just... Look at you. You're a disaster. Uh, Alright, well then tell that to the amount of times where I heard into my dark form all the time and I almost killed you. I almost killed you. I almost Look, killed that's Vegeta. in the past. And then, and then Zeshir happened. Look, 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 I can't. I think we should just go up there and sit down and talk about it. I can tell this is really bothering you. You've never acted this way before. There. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll educate right. you more. Let's go. <laughs> Fine. Sonic, tell me what's wrong. Well, thing is, is that, um, I, after the whole silver.exe fight, I've, you know, I went over to I went over to a certain dimension and something 
happened with uh, her. Her. I'm assuming you're referring to Tangle? Yeah. Yeah, I am. What happened? Are you guys okay? Did she get hurt? What, what's going on? She... We both... We basically, um... We split. You guys split? Yeah. I thought you guys were... Happy. That's what, what I thought what too. What caused this? Apparently my work as a guardian has prevented... Basically, in a sense, I... After the whole Silver Die EXE fight, the Guardians of the Multiverse came to me. They told me that... That they're... That I can't go to Tangle's world much anymore. Why? That doesn't make any sense. They told me that... If I was to continue being with that universe, Tangle, like a, any person from another universe, it could mean destruction. So Damn. we had no choice. I'm, the thing is, I'm is sorry. that her universe is so peaceful, you know? They deal with the same villain all the time, just like Boomstonic. And the fact that they always find a way to find peace is, it's, it's, it's so much different than ours. And I just wanted to feel that sense of peace. Something that our world will never get. Well, I mean, I feel like peace may be coming sooner than I, than we'd usually expect. I don't know. It has been kind of quiet here after the whole Sonic Infinite fight. So, good yeah. things are to come. And, I mean, knowing that you're the guardian of the multiverse, it's, you know, it's just your your job, pretty much. You have to go around and stop all these bad guys. Because you're unstoppable. You're Sonic the Hedgehog. Nobody can stop you. But, I don't know, it just feels like without Tangle, I feel like I'm back to how I used to be, you know? When I was alone, where I felt like I, I was, you know, I, I still feel like Zestier is still in here. No, that's all gone. We took care of that. Uh, what, it's been almost a year now? Maybe a little bit more? I mean, all of that's done and over with. It's just, I don't know where to go from here. Look, Tangle and I have you'll split. find happiness. Tangle and I have split, and then, and then there's just, uh, we just, I don't know. I mean, sure, I haven't seen her in a long time, but I guess me becoming a guardian must have drawn a huge gap in our relationship and that's what caused it so i had well, no choice i, mean, I had you no just choice just got to find someone who can deal with this sort of thing find someone here in our, our own dimension there's plenty of fish in the sea i mean of course some of them might be mentally unstable after the whole fleetway attack but you know <laughs> If you can't beat them, join them, you know? Yeah. Hmm. But, how are things with you going? I mean, you, you joined that organization, <sighs> right? Yeah, yeah, it's going good. Joining STARS has definitely changed my outlook on life, and I've yes. definitely become a much better person because of it. And, of course, me and Sticks are doing all right. Yeah. I've never been happier. 
Although yeah, we don't get least... to see each other much, she does plan on coming over and possibly staying in our dimension. Hmm. That's something. Huh. At least you're happy. Me, I have to stay in a plane. I have to stay in, like, a multiversal plane of existence. My own plane of existence. Out there, in the middle of the universe, and I just... Sure, I come back here from time to time. But, you know, I realized, um... Ever since you joined that organization, you rely a lot less on your powers that you do with your physical yeah, strength. Yeah, I just... I mean, my physical strength has grown exponentially. Yeah. I mainly only stay in my base form. I try to rely less and less on transformations. Besides, it's a huge power drain, and overusing a lot of that power gets kind of tiring. Yeah. And plus, staying so powerful and in a form like that, you're basically a huge beacon for villains to see what's going on. You know, they can sense our energy from thousands of miles away. It just brings yeah. a lot more trouble than we need. Yeah. I see where you're coming from. I mean, me, I can I can raise my power as much as I want. No one will find me out there. That's if, you know. Yeah. I, I take, like, a ring and, you know, kind of like how Blue Sonic does it. You know, he has, like, those rings. He throws it. And then he can go wherever. Yeah. Me, I... I, I it's I, just... I, one <laughs> thing that Chris had told me from learning and training with him, power isn't everything. Power isn't going to get you everywhere in life. It's your physical strength. Just... You. You matter. Your mind is what powers everything. You can be as strong as you want, but if you... You know, can't think to save your life, then what's the point? Yeah. Wait, Chris? You mean Chris? Chris the Hedgehog? That no, guy? Chris Redfield. Oh, yeah, you said stars. Yeah. Jeez. He's definitely changed the organization a lot. He doesn't really, you know, do a lot of groundwork anymore kind of oversees everything that's happening. I guess so you what, could say I've sort of taken his position. So what? Do you like Not retired? really retired. <sighs> He's more so the head of stars at this point. He's the one who plans out our missions, you know, puts everyone together in their own squads. Well, it's anything honestly to put food really on the table. neat. Yeah. But of course, you know, I get special benefits since I helped with the whole Infinite Sonic and Zeshir disaster. So, yeah. I guess being powerful does have its perks. Free food. That's always a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I could keep going with what I do best. And maybe I will find happiness out there in the multiverse. You, you, you work I'm sure there. you will. You it's work huge. For that or organization. Do they give you like outfits? Because if they give you outfits, that's weird. Because I don't, you know, we, you know us, we don't wear clothes. Well, I do have my tactical stars outfit, but of course I'm not wearing it right now. I'm not on duty at the moment, so. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I hope things go well with you. Uh, I believe I, I'm going to get out of this place. This this place gives me a bad vibe already. Yeah. Uh, you go and you cool your head. Go do some long, long thinking. Yeah. I'll, I'll do that. There's, there's just a lot that's going on. You know, like I said, ever since Sword.exe, you know, things have changed. So, I guess there. Yeah, might life not is be dramatically after all. different. But all we have to look forward to is the future. Now, yeah, I, you get going, buddy. Yeah. All right. <laughs>
Well, I appreciate you coming out here, though, you know. Usually I see Modern Sonic, you know, like, I don't know if he's ever been sad before or anyone to comfort him for that matter. But all I know is that his shadow, his shadow probably doesn't care. Because <laughs> he's shadow. But, yeah, I've heard a lot about that guy. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and then there's you, you know, first you became an asshole to me. You know, always desperate to be stronger and better than me in every way. But then you joined that organization and Chris Redfield helped you be better. So I guess that's that's a good... Yeah, a good I guess you could say in the beginning a, a, a bit of Vegeta sort of rubbed off on me, you know? But yeah. not really hanging around him has definitely made me a different person. Yeah. Vegeta's helped me a lot too. One of these days we need to go visit them. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. We should. We should visit... We should visit him, and then after that, we should visit Drago, see how he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, again, I, I appreciate you coming out here to help me out. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back over to my, to my plane. Um, but, but thank you for, for helping me. I, I will find happiness. You're welcome. I'm the kind of guy that won't give up, right? So I shouldn't give up on love. Yeah, don't give up. Never give up. Now, go out there, stay safe, and try to take it easy. Right, I will. Thanks, Shadow. Right. See you later, ultimate life form. <laughs> <laughs> I could say the same thing to you. Later. <laughs> <laughs>